So if you have an NVIDIA GPU and if you want more performance out of it, and if you're using an older GPU, which doesn't have frame generations like me, uh, try switching from DLSS to AMD FSR3 with frame generation on. You're going to gain a lot of performance and it'll be a very smooth experience. This is the too long didn't watch version of the video. Uh, if you want to know more, keep watching. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to another video. So I'm using an NVIDIA 3070 in Monster Hunter Wilds. Um, as you can see, this is uh, the base camp and I have, uh, well, this is the most demanding area of the game. Uh, and I'm, I'm getting about 41 to 45 FPS. And this is using DLSS quality mode. Uh, now, I did a lot of things. Uh, I tried... Uh, you know, adjusting my settings. I, I even went to the configuration files and manually disabled the volumetric fog to gain a, uh, some performance. I tried a lot of things. I also tried manually injecting the latest DLSS version into my game folder. All of that, it wasn't, it just wasn't enough. Uh, you know, the best I could do is maybe switch from quality to balance to get a playable frame rate. Now, all that being said, uh, if you switch to AMD FSR, for some reason, even if it's, you're using an NVIDIA GPU, uh, as you can see, as soon as I switch to my uh, to AMD FSR 3, uh, my frames have bumped up quite just a little bit. Uh, it's not much. I mean, you know, I'm getting 47 something. Um, however, because, because frame generation is an option, uh, on AMD, uh, if you're using an AMD uh, FSR upscaling, enable it, and you're gonna gain a lot more frames. I, I actually turned on my Steam overlay just in case Nvidia started to cause trouble. There you go. Uh, so now, yeah, I'm getting a comfortable 80 something frames. Uh, yes, it is doubling the frames with some quote unquote freight frames but it actually feels a lot smoother and the game is a lot more playable. So there you go, guys. I uh, hope this helps out uh, and uh, let me know if uh, this works out for you in the comments below. Share your thoughts, share your experiences for others and hopefully we'll help each other out with the comments. Until then, happy hunting.